I absolutely believe that rugby has the power to empower and develop women and girls. England are the world champions of 2014. England are the women's London Sevens champions for 2014. So I first picked up a rugby ball when I was six years old, um, probably actually before that because all my family were involved in it, my mum, my dad and my sister all played, so it was just something that the whole family did and, and I was really fortunate because my mum and my sister played, they made it sure that there was a girls section available for us to literally transition straight into. I think one of the challenges that rugby has is that not every rugby club has the facilities and the opportunities for girls to play rugby in. So I really struggled at school academically and rugby was the thing that I focused on but everybody at my school, all the girls didn't really get that or understand that so I felt quite isolated in that respect. I've definitely experienced my fair share of kind of negatives around the sport and issues or stereotypes. I know lots of people out there have similar experiences as well. As a woman playing rugby, I've definitely faced uh, some negative stereotypes and, and people jumping to conclusions when they find out I play. A lot of comments like, oh, you didn't look like a rugby player or you're not butch enough to be a rugby player. Surely it's touch rugby and not tackle. Um, you know, and that's why I think it's really important that we grow understanding and sort of try and normalise it um, and you know, make people understand that it's a Rugby is a sport for everyone um, and that's what drew me to the sport. What got me into rugby was probably the fact that there is literally a position for all shapes and sizes and it is the most welcoming team sport that I'm pretty sure is out there. In terms of kind of some inequalities that I've faced, uh, can be quite frustrating. I doubt the men even get a patch on what we get, but together I definitely believe that we can make a big difference. There's lots of social pressures, there's school, there's, there's other um, you know, external factors to why girls drop out of sport and you know, hopefully we can try and change that. So the Girls Rugby Club means a hell of a lot to me. I, I've grown up in, in girls rugby, I've gone all the way to the elite level and I know how difficult it can be coming through that and I know that there are opportunities out there but they're quite limited so it's really important to me that we have a we have a place that is for girls so i've experienced firsthand you know a young girl coming along to one of the camps and being really shy really inverted doesn't want to really socialize really nervous and scared to at the end of the day being you know a social butterfly interacting with everybody made new friends and I've had emails from parents just saying about how their confidence has grown, how their self-esteem, their, you know, some of them are still playing in boys teams and actually coming on a camp gave them the confidence to, to push the boundaries in that team, to go after the board, to tell the boys what to do. And so to experience those type of things is really, really special to me. Ultimately, we want to develop people on and off the pitch. We want to create incredible moments so that they feel a part of something bigger than just their own rugby club and themselves. They're part of this big community that's all about driving and trying to normalise girls and women in rugby. We want to be a part of the whole movement that's going on in women's sport right now, and especially in women's rugby. We want to make the game, the girls' game and the women's game, the best it can be. And if we can share knowledge, share information, support one another, help each other out, then that's only going to grow the game. And that's all what we have collectively. We have a goal to grow the girls' game, to grow the women's game. And so if we can do that together as a whole community, then we're going to be accelerating that movement.